Natalie is urging the Grand Cleric to ally with the Inquisition. It hasn't worked, has it? It's a waste of time. I want them out of my way. Now. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin? Lord Fermat? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. I didn't get the chance to say so earlier, but welcome back to Skyhold. After that terrible journey through the Fade, it must feel good to stand on solid ground again, doesn't it? I'm thankful to be back. No one should enter the Fade physically. And you've done it twice now. Shall I count you fortunate or unfortunate? I'll leave you to your work. You have begun practicing new magical forms. Interesting. You seem to be drawing energy across the veil. With too simple to be considered spirit. I believe Dorian uses similar magic as do the Mortalitas of Navarra. Why did you choose such an esoteric area of study? I hoped that studying such magic would help me better understand spirits. While our fight affords little time for formal study, the wise can better themselves even in the midst of battle, perhaps especially then. I hope your new studies served you well. Did you need anything else? We'll talk later. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. To work?
any news on the House of Repose since you'll be there? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakas for Lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the paper. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small set thrown by the Marquis de Scott. I'll get you an invitation. News on the House of Repose, since you'll be there. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Olysian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlais. Restoring is far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreon, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain? I shall raise the Duparakets into Lordship. I must return to Valreo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can.
I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian gods. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and fight. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, twists, and fascinating stories. A group of us, young gentry from Antigua, decided this exciting life was for us. I don't imagine many first-born heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife, and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. From bard to diplomat is quite a change in direction. I was headed down that path for some time already. That night nearly crystallized in all the commotion. Forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Hold on to it. Don't lose sight of why you came here. I will never forget you helped save the House of Montillier, Inquisitor. And should you ever visit Antiva, stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years.
these must be the missing soldiers. I will see that their families are notified when we return. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. Our men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesterion. If you're interested, it looks like we can challenge their leader. Hesterion's blade is supposed to represent mercy, not random slaughter. Right. Blades and their challenges. Biggest sword wins. So you would challenge the blades of Hasarian? There's been enough violence. Stand down. I earned my place here. Do you think I'll step aside for you? the rest agree to play nice, right? Your worship, the 
blades of Hazarian are at your service. If you want eyes on the coast, here we are. I've not heard of the blades of Hazarian. Our work is often misunderstood, but we serve on draft there, and whoever proves worthy of wielding our weapons. You and your blades are loyal to the Inquisition. We're loyal to you. I suppose that's the same thing, your worship. So there's no ill will over what happened with your former boss? The man was a bastard. You're not the first to stand up to him. You're just the first to win, and we're happy with that. Besides, I would rather swear my life to the Herald of Andraste. Do you have anything to report? Nothing of note, Your Worship. I should go. You know where to find us.